Guys, we are back out for um, another day of disc golf, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Heiser Flip. Um, it's one of the coolest shots in disc golf, in my opinion, and it is a tool that you have to have, um, especially if you're playing woods golf or um, if you're looking to get some extra distance, um, anything like that. The Heiser Flip will come into play and it will help you out a lot. I've seen a lot of people asking about it um, in comments and on Instagram and places like that. So today we're going to kind of cover that. I'm going to show you guys some of the discs and uh, a lot of the things that go into being able to Heiser Flip. Let's get it. So one of the most important things that goes into uh, doing a hyzer flip and having a consistent hyzer flip is obviously your disc. And the disc is going to change depending on your arm speed. Um, if you are someone who has a slower arm speed, then you might need a disc uh, with a negative number. So say a negative two, one, or something like that. If you're someone with a higher arm speed, like a lot of the pros, um, they can hyzer flip even uh, like a zero, two. Uh, just depending on how much rotation and spin they can get on the disc. And obviously, um, something else that kind of comes into play is how beat in the disc is. Uh, one of my favorite Heiser Flip discs is the Stag, uh, which is not an understable disc, at least not when you first get it, but now that I've beaten mine in, um, I absolutely love it for Heiser Flips. So first, you need to figure out your arm speed, and you need to figure out um, a disc that works well with that. If you have a lower arm speed, something like a diamond would be really good for you guys. I use it as a hyzer flip to turnover disc, but if you have a slower arm speed, then it would work great um, for you for a hyzer flip. If you have a faster arm speed, um, then I would find something that's like a zero one um, <clears throat> or something along those lines. Even, even a stable disc, so like a negative one one would work well. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead and do some throws, show you guys some situations as to when I think you should hyzer flip. So, I didn't clarify, just in case some of you guys don't know what a hyzer flip is. A hyzer flip is where you start the disc off on a hyzer, so if you're right-handed like this, and it flips up to flat. Um, that's a hyzer flip. It's used to get good distance, it's used to make the disc go straight, it's used to give you a little more confidence if you're trying to hit gaps, because this can fit through a gap better than this can. Um, and then you can also use it to hyzer flip to flat and then turn over and different things like that. Right here you can see the release on a hyzer and you can see it stand up and flat. It goes a little bit to the right and then as it runs out of speed it comes back down to the left. That was the Dynamic Discs Maverick that I just threw. Now I'm throwing a stag and you can see it come out on a hyzer, flip up to flat and even go to the right a little bit and then once again as it runs out of speed it drops back down to the left. <clears throat> now generally a hyzer flip is used um, as a backhand, generally people throw them backhand, but I've been working on them sidearm lately and it's a really, really good tool to have because at least for me, someone who used to play baseball, my sidearm has always felt a little more confident. Um, I feel like I can hit gaps better with my sidearm. And so being able to hyzer flip and hyzer flip turnover with my sidearm shots, as you guys have seen in videos recently, um, has been really, really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys how to um, work on throwing a hyzer flip with your sidearm now. So I'm throwing a vandal here, kind of a hyzer flip to turnover shot, if you will. Throwing another hyzer flip turnover here with the diamond. So here I'm throwing the stag and it pops up to flat and then ends up turning left and it just creates such an awesome shot shape that you don't really see too much. Now when it comes to the grip, for the hyzer flip, um, obviously everybody knows what a power grip is, where you get all your the, all your fingertips in here real tight and you hold that. For me, whenever I throw a hyzer flip, sometimes I'll go down to three or even two fingers as I release, um, just to feel a little bit more controlled. Um, <clears throat> but obviously, you want to generate a lot of spin in order to do a hyzer flip, depending on the disc you're using. If you're using a more understable disc, then you need a little less spin. If you're using a more stable or overstable disc, generally overstable disc, you can't hyzer flip unless you're a beast. Um, but if you're using a more stable disc, then you're going to um, still want to have that spin, but you can probably release uh, one finger if you want to, just for a little bit more control. But the whole thing about hyzer flips is 
the spin generated. And for me, I can generate more spin on my sidearms than my backhands. And so that's why I can sidearm a disc and have it flip up to flat and then turn over left. Um, but if I backhand that same disc, I can just have it flip up and fly flat. Um, I've really been enjoying throwing hyzer flips um, and I hope that this video has helped you guys out. Um, for me, I would say the biggest, most important thing about a hyzer flip is your disc selection. Um, and as you beat in discs, discs that used to not be able to hyzer flip can now hyzer flip. So go out, try them, release them on a hyzer, have it flip up to flat and see if you can get a little bit more distance and also see if you have more confidence when it comes to hitting gaps and things like that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.